Love it. Hey guys, it's Clint. And today we are out at the uh, DuPont State Forest Mountain Bike Trails. Uh, we're currently at the Lake Imaging parking lot. Um, and uh, we're gonna ride some trails here. And uh, I'm gonna show you what uh, the map looks like. We are here, the Lake Imaging lot. And we're gonna take the Jim Branch Trail up to Isaac Heath, to the Locust Trail. We're gonna take Hilltop around and we're gonna go look at Grassy Creek Falls. Then we're gonna backtrack these trails and then uh, cut over to Buck Forest Road, which I'm gonna take over here to uh, White Pine. And then we're gonna take Hooker Trail down uh, to Ridgeline. And then uh, after Ridgeline, or when we get to Ridgeline, I'm actually gonna take a right and then uh, do this loop here, Hickory Mountain Loop. And then we're gonna come back down Ridgeline. And uh, Ridgeline's one of the most well-known trails here. Uh, it's a great trail. Um, Hooker Creek Trail is fantastic. This section here is a great downhill run. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a lot of good riding in. All right, well, here we go. I hope you enjoy the ride. All right, we're leaving the parking lot at uh, Lake Imaging Parking Lot uh, here at DuPont State Forest, outside of Hendersonville, kind of between Hendersonville and Brevard. And that's Western North Carolina, if you don't know. So this is Lake Imaging Road. We're gonna take this to the Jim Branch Trail. So when we finish our ride, we're gonna finish over here to the left off a of ridgeline. Here we go. And that's as far as we get. Yeah, the start of this trail is tough. It's all rock armored climb. And there is an alternative route here. be a fair amount of climbing on this route today but it's worth it still climbing up Jim Branch it's not too terrible of a climb you'll go up a little level off go up a little level off So now we've turned on to Isaac Heath off of Jim Branch and we'll be backtracking on this. So we're going to ride both directions of this. Okay, so we're going to take a right. I believe this is Locust.
a little bit of rock slab here. Coming off a of locust, so we're gonna take hilltop. Oh no! Big tree! I have to make a note in MTB project about the tree down. Although, I'm sure the crew already knows. I'll just pull over and stop for you. Uh, yeah, I'll pass by. Less than a hundred yards down, there's a tree down. Yeah, that's what I'm looking like. Will I be able to get around it? Nope. I picked my bike up and carried it over. Okay, still on hilltop. Yeah, so multi-use trails here, hikers, bikers, and horseback riders. But everybody gets along real well. Over some rocks. Big drop. Oh, thank you. Kind of sandy area so it's a little soft and slick Alright, so the end of hilltop. And so we're gonna go over here and walk down to the waterfall. Such clear water. Beautiful waterfall. Come here, riding on a hot summer day. Come down, take a break, stick your feet in the water, cool off. So nice. All right, so we're leaving the waterfall area. And we're gonna take Hilltop back. The way we came. Now we could take Buck Forest Road, but I don't wanna grind gravel.
Oh, thank you. Okay, so we're going to take Locust. Oh, I missed that kicker. So back on Isaac Heath. Hello. All right, so we're now taking a ride on Jim Branch. And we're on Buck Forest Road now. All right, so. It's a bit of a gravel grind. I'm going to turn the camera off, save some battery power, and uh, see you when we make the next turn. All right, so we just turned off a of buck forest, and uh, we're pedaling up on White Pine Trail. And then we're going to hang a left on Hooker's Creek Trail in just a minute. And it's got a really fast, chunky downhill section. All right, so Hooker Creek Trail right here on the left. That's where we're at. Love it. Oh, yeah. What a great ride. Whoa, so fun down that downhill. So fast. All right. 
Now we gotta climb up out of here. We are here at the intersection of Hooker Creek Trail and Ridgeline Trail. And if you want the great flowy downhill, take Ridgeline this way. But I got a little extra time. So we're gonna go up Ridgeline uh, and then do a, a loop up here at the top. All right, so we are at the end of Ridgeline and we are gonna take Hickory Mountain Loop this is also, I think Buck Forest Road comes in here too. But uh, Hickory Mountain Loop is about a mile and a half long loop. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's got some nice technical challenges and rock. Um, you know, if you've got the extra time and you really want the full, you know, DuPont experience, I recommend adding Hickory Loop in. Cool, the butterflies following along with me. So, much more difficult technical terrain on this trail. Ooh, that was steep. A lot of drainage work been done up here. It's good. All right. And that was the end of Hickory Mountain Loop. All right, so we just came off a of Hickory Mountain Loop, and now we're gonna head down Ridgeline Trail. Um, it's a pretty popular trail. I guess you could even say it was a famous, famous trail here in DuPont. So we are gonna give it a go. And this upper section is, you know, double track, old forest road, whatever. A little loose and chunky, some sandy spots.
This is where Hooker Creek comes back in. So we gotta pedal up a little bit for the drop in on Ridgeline. All right, here we are. Top of Ridgeline. Let the fun begin. Not used to sliding around in the sandy soil. Big burn. So loose. Oh, it's so, so fun.
calves are burning. All right, that was the end of Ridgeline. And then this is back on Lake Imaging Road, and we're headed back to the parking lot. All right, everybody, thanks for riding with me at DuPont today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I sure did. And I hope to see you guys next week uh, on our next adventure. Who knows where it's going to be? Might be Pisgah, might be somewhere else. Who knows? So uh, I hope you guys get some time to go out and ride this week and enjoy the ride. We'll talk to you later.